Assalamu alaikum students. Welcome to MBBS Online Lecture 2021. So today's topic is about the anatomy of the wrist joint. We have previously discussed about the distal and proximal radial nerve joint in the forearm with the elbow joint and shoulder joint of the upper limb. So today we are going to discuss and have discussed maybe with the anatomy of the hand. So let's have discuss. First of all, the introduction of the wrist joint. It is basically the synovial joint with the condyloid variety. And the bones that are forming are is the scaphoid unit and tricutium in the carpal bones while the radius and ulna in the forearm that are their distal ends. What are the movement that it facilitates that these are flexion, extension, ab adduction, abduction. We would see in the previous in coming slides what is the flexion, the animation of the flexion, extension, adduction and abduction. With the these all type of bones, their ligaments, and etc. Let's get this question. So this is the anatomy of the normal we say wrist joint. You can see there there is a radius bone, this is the radius bone while this is a ulnar bone. These are forming radio there is a radio ulnar joint between the radius and the ulna with their distal end and there is a wrist joint it's forming between the carpal bones that are scaphoid, leonate, and tricutrium. These three bones are involved in the forming wrist joint. There is an articular disc between these bones that facilitates movement and help provide cushioning between the two bones. So let's discuss ligaments. As you can see here, first of all, there is an extensor ligament that is present on the posterior end of the distal end of the radius and ulna. This is the basically a fibrous band of tissue located on the posterior surface as I have discussed. It holds an extensor muscle, the tendon of the muscles, extensor muscle that are coming from the forearm and supplying the hand. Occurring movement such as extension of the hand and the distal joint, such as distal phalangeal extension. First of all, is it this uh, extensor radicle? This is not a ligament, but this is a fibrous band that helps to hold the tendons of the muscles when they contract. First of all, there is the palmar radiocarpal ligament. As you can see here, it is forming between the radius and the carpal bones. So this is that is why it is called radiocarpal ligament. It is for it is present in the anterior part of the wrist joint. Next is a palmar radio ulnar joint. As you can see here, it is present in the palmar aspect of the hand, and it is it holds the bone such as radius and ulna together. There is a dorsal radio ulnar ligament that holds the radio and ulna from the posterior aspect, forming distal radio ulnar joint and help to stabilize the joint of the wrist. There is the ulnar collateral ligament of the wrist. Since it is named as ulnar, it is present in it is originating from the ulna and attaching to the carpal bones help in stabilizing the wrist joint. Now there is a radial collateral ligament. This is present on the lateral side of the body. Now the movements. So these are the movements such as this is the wrist flexion. This is wrist ab ab adduction. This is wrist extension, as you can see here. This is wrist adduction. Several muscles are involved in occurring movement 
providing stabilizing the wrist joint and also movements of the wrist joint. So it's time for quiz. Quiz yourself. Can you identify the bones that are forming the wrist joint? Okay. These are the tricutrium, leonate, and scaphoid. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, share it with your friend and subscribe to the channel. Facebook also subscribe our Facebook page, and we are tireless working on the our website that is www.mbsonlinelecture.weebly.com. Make sure you visit there and like our Facebook page. Thank you.